what's up? Welcome to a collective haul. We have everything from outfits to shoes to the jewelry you guys have been asking me about that I've been wearing a lot recently. So saddle up babes, this is gonna be a big one. talk about today is Just Fab and that you're sponsoring this portion of the video so thank you so much to Just Fab for sponsoring, supporting your girl, always always appreciate it. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about Just Fab and then I'm going to get into this monster of a box that they sent over filled with a ton of spring shoes. So the main reason I'm excited to talk to you guys about Just Fab today is first of all you guys have been requesting it for quite some time that I try out their clothes and shoes and second of all because in the past couple of years especially they've really made strides towards carrying plus sizes, wide width shoes and wide calf boots um, so, and that's not something that's widely available so it's always nice to have a new resource for that so I'm a big fan of Just Fab for going in that more of an inclusive route. Not only are they going for an inclusive route with their sizing they're actually a really really affordable brand as well. So before I get into the shoes, I want to let you guys know that you're giving you guys 50% off. So there's a link in the description down below so you guys can check that out and get half off your favorite item in the haul. If it's still available, their stuff does sell out pretty quickly. Um, you get a monthly showroom with them. I'm trying to scoot over so I can set everything down. You get a monthly showroom with them and so basically they show you different things that they think you may like based on a style quiz that you fill out. It's a really short little quick little quiz um, and they sent me these sock boots which I definitely definitely talked about in my style quiz. I like cozy fuzzy things um, but you take the style quiz and then every month you get kind of recommended a bunch of stuff whether it's booties if you like that, high heels if you're into that thing, mid heels, flats, sandals, whatever you're into. Um, so even though the rest of everything in this haul is definitely spring vibes and so is my background. I did get this pair of really pretty like knit black furry pom pom socks with the groupies. Um, I will be wearing these to watch Infinity War with husband on Netflix tonight. I'm very excited about these. I always love a good cozy sock so I'm super stoked to have found these on Just Fab. And let me get into the first pair of shoes. I'm gonna drop everything. I ordered a bunch of spring colored shoes because even though it's January dead of winter, um, it's going to be warm here in the Southwest in California pretty freaking soon. Um, so I was like, you know what? Why bother buying more fall stuff and winter stuff when I could buy spring stuff because spring is almost here and oh my God, aren't these the most beautiful effing shoe you have ever seen? Like get lost. These, so I ordered them in an eight and a half. They are so pretty. They're like a dusty mauve. Ooh, I cannot wait to try these on. I love the little bow in the back. They are so chic deaky. I love those. Let's see what else I got from them. I'm gonna insert the, my favorite shoes. I'm gonna insert them in the uh, try on portion. Okay, the next pair I got are these pink kitten heel. Oh my God, they're so bright. Huh? Look at that, you guys. How bright are these? These are like little, don't they look like a Barbie shoe? Don't they look like the shoes that you like, your mom chased around the house because you kept misplacing them and she stepped on them in the middle of the night and she screamed and it was like, God damn it, Sarah, put away your Barbie shoes. Like these are those shoes. I love these so much. These are so cute, so pretty. I ordered a lot of shoes, just so we're clear, like a lot of shoes. Um, okay, next pair. Okay, let me just, un I got these like mint ones. I really wanted a pair of mint shoes going into spring because you know me, I love a neutral, but I'm really trying. <laughs> 2019, the year of trying. And oh, how freaking beautiful. I love how, look how, oh, they're so bright and pretty. And so the, the so far all three pairs that I have shown you guys have a suede kind of vibe to them. So I'm really feeling these. These are really cute. And I love these like barely there kind of shoes where you just get a little like, Ooh. I'm very excited. These are gonna look so good with a tan too. Like obviously you guys know the darker the skin, the better these kind of pastels and brights look on you. So my babes of color, 50% off. Okay, next, what is this? What else did I order? Ooh, okay, these are definitely more like winter fall but I feel like I could definitely pull these off in the spring as well they are a pair of gray kind of booties with this little tie bit Ooh, that heel looks like a heel for big girls 
Oh, we're gonna see. I'm a little worried that it may be too high for me. I have really bad knees from a couple of injuries. Um, but we're gonna have a go. These are really freaking beautiful. Aren't these so beautiful? Oh, I love those too. Okay, what else we got? We got two more pairs. Two more pairs. Yeah, this next pair, I can already tell. Provided the fit is right, I'm going to wear non-stop, non-stop, non-stop. Ooh, look how pretty these are. So obviously I'm into this like two to three inch like mid heel. Sometimes I wear higher heels, but largely ever since my knee, like I fell and I messed up my knee, I didn't get it healed properly. Um, I love a low heel and like these little things to tie them. These are the sweetest little shoes. Are these the sweetest little shoes? Oh my god, I cannot wait to style these. And they say just fabulous on them, which is really cute. So I love these. All of these shoes, by the way, I got in a size eight and a half. That's my usual just fab size. Oh my god. Okay, last pair. I literally have to like go head first into this box at this point because uh, they sent me so much stuff. These are my favorite. I'm calling it right now. When you see them, you'll know. These, oh, oh, oh my God. Doesn't this make you wanna take a cruise like right now, like immediately? So if you're someone that doesn't like to wear a lot of print and you want to incorporate print into your wardrobe, go with a nice little printed shoe. Come on, how freaking precious is that? It's got hibiscus on it. I'm gonna make, you guys gotta get these. You guys need these. These are so stinking cute. Come on, winter is over. Let's start planning for spring. It'll be so much more fun to wear this. This is so much more fun. By the way, they do come packaged nicely. I have made a huge mess in the box. Ugh. So in addition to all of the shoes and tissue paper everywhere, I did pick up a couple of clothing items. The first one is this really pretty like blush toned faux leather jacket. And the main thing that sold me on it was this really cute ruffle going down the front. In 2019, we ladylike though. Like, isn't that so, so cute? So if you're someone who's a little more feminine than traditional moto jacket aesthetic allows for, this is gonna be like a really good one for you. I got it in a size 1X, I think it fits really nicely. So you still get like the moto jacket vibe, but the little ruffle kind of adds a little bit of softness to it. The fit is actually really nice on it as well. So good length in the arms. I like when my sleeves, I like to wear long sleeves so my sleeve pops out just a little bit. But I can see myself wearing this over like a chambray dress in the summer, when it's like a little chilly, like chilly winter night. Like this is just a really gorgeous little jacket. The next thing I have to show you guys is an oversized turtleneck sweater. I know it's really hard to tell because I'm actually wearing a fitted turtleneck sweater today, so I do apologize that you'll see it in the try-on portion. And it's a really lightweight sweater that I love to just kind of half tuck into jeans and be good to go or wear around the house with like leggings and those cute little slipper socky things. So, so cute. Um, I got it in a size 2X because I wanted it to eat fit a little like oversized and kind of slouchy and stuff. I just love these. It's not necessarily a big fashion statement, but it's one of those pieces that just make you feel warm and cozy when you put it on and you just want to like curl up with like a cup of tea and watch Netflix so I am super here for that I think this is gonna go in part of my um, watch infinity war on Netflix with husband outfit because that is so soft and so cute and I'm so here for it the last item I have to show you guys I'm so excited about I saw this on their site and I was like <gasps> add to cart add to cart add to cart I got this in a size 2x and it's elastic waist but it's a tool skirt with like pearls on it that almost kind of look like stars against the night sky. How freaking beautiful is this, you guys? I love this. For the summer, I love this paired with like maybe a really punchy neon top. And in the winter, obviously pair with like whatever you want, dark tights, thigh high boots, and maybe like a nice turtle like the one I have on and go like really kind of monochromatic. Just, I just love this tool. I love the silver pearls. Um, it's just such a beautiful little dainty skirt. Nice fit, nice stretchy stretch stretch. I always appreciate that, um, which means it's really comfortable and it's got a nice lining so it's not see-through. So that's really nice. So that is it from Just Fab. So thank you to Just Fab for sponsoring this portion of the video. Like I mentioned earlier, there is a link in the description down below to get you 50% off. I really like them again. They are affordable. They have wide width. They have wide cap. They have plus sizes up to size 3X. We have a lot of options here, ladies, and they're such a great affordable way to stay on trend and get the new new without spending a ton of money. They also do a lot of designer dupes, which I really, really love because not everyone can afford Valentino's, but they always 
always have some version of some designer shoe or outfit on their site. And the last thing I want to mention before I move on into the next company I want to talk to you guys about um, is that all of their stuff is designed in house. So it's not stuff that you're going to see like on just fab and like everywhere else like what they have is theirs alone so it is special to them so know that when you're ordering from them you're getting something unique and that isn't going to be everywhere which is always a huge selling point for me lord knows i've been looking for a skirt like that tool skirt for such a long time and i have not been able to find one so knowing that and knowing that like i have it and not everyone has it makes me feel real excited so again thank you to just fab don't forget to use the link down in the description. Get your 50% off. I really highly recommend using it on these adorable shoes because get out of the town. These are still, like just buzz off. They are so cute and I cannot handle it. Cannot handle it. So the remainder of the haul is largely jewelry and I've been going through this phase of like being obsessed with hair accessories. Like what are these? Who are I? What is happening? It's not normally something I'm like into, but lately I'm like all the into. So the first little grouping of things I got, I haven't even like taken off the cards yet. I got these at Target and they are so cute. They're by Sincerely Jewels and Scoonsie. Scoonsie, you know the brands they make the hair things. Um, obviously the packaging like sucked me right in. So, so gorgeous. But I got these really pretty hairpins and then I got this like vintage style like hair comb which is so gorgeous. And then also this a little kind of jeweled headbandy thing. I'm really, really excited about these. I think it's because my hair is short. And I have clip-in extensions which I haven't really played much with yet. But I feel like because my hair is short, everyone thinks that when you have short hair, it's like really easy to just like be done and like it's done faster and i will say no having short hair is much more high maintenance than my long hair ever was because you can't put it up in a bun so there's nowhere to hide anymore you guys like i am full exposed all the time like my hair either has to be done or it is in a hat there is no in between so i'm like you know i'm gonna like have to do all this work making it look cute i might as well buy pretty little things to like pop in my hair um especially because it really looks kind of weird if i don't do like a deep side part this hair is like a whole, it's a whole conversation. Um, but anyway, I saw these and I love the packaging and I love the tropical vintagey vibes of them. So I picked these up and I'm really excited to play with them. The next little bit of hair accessories I picked up from Amazon and this I picked up for Christmas and I didn't wear them. I forgot them here and I didn't bring them to Canada with me. Um, but they are these really beautiful, I'll have to do a close up to show you because it's impossible. They are like vintage pins basically but they're barrettes they are kind of brass and they have really beautiful little pave rhinestones there's one barrette and then two little pins that you can kind of pop in right here so it kind of ends up looking i'm going to use the viewfinder here just hopefully this will work but kind of ends up looking a little something like this when it's all said and done and it's just a little boopity boop in your hair you know a little boopity boop um i'm here for it i love it i think it's really cute i love them all together especially like this with like picture like this here and then like this here and like we have a whole mood you know what i mean so cute so if you have short hair and you're kind of figuring out we're trying to figure out ways to like play with it and make it look cute um i would highly recommend these pins i think they were like ten dollars for all three on amazon so i'm gonna link those down below um and i wanted to show you another pin that i got for my hair it was handmade and you guys when you see it you're gonna be like oh my god that is so crystal it is so suns out buns out um it is right here and i got i bought this off of an instagram ad i am that person that buys everything off of facebook and instagram ads like they i'm such a sucker for advertising and this was not cheap like this was not cheap um it's from a brand called jennifer bear and it's handmade in new york and when i saw this you guys oh my god i i nearly fell off of the couch it was so beautiful it's a beautiful handmade gold hibiscus pin look at this you guys how stupid levels of beautiful is that it is just to die for now when we go on vacation and we go to the islands or when we go to hawaii or whatever i am that girl that's like pins in my hair or flowers in my hair first thing and i love the idea of this as like a like a, a very like upscale i'm not gonna like put it in bed like a very upscale like flower in the hair moment oh I died when I saw this and then when I got it in the mail I like I obviously haven't even worn it yet because it's like the most precious in the whole world and I love it um, and it's very delicate as well but I could not 
resist the, oh my, I'm gonna put it against my shirt so you guys can see the detail, but so stunning. It's like offensive, it's so stunning. By the way, I wanted to give you guys a quick little tip. If you're looking at pins and you're looking at barrettes and stuff for your hair, and you're like, they always fall out of my hair because my hair is like either thin or it's fine and it won't hold. I wanted to give you guys a quick little tip that really like helped me out. Um, I have a lot of like dirt, like um, what's that called? Um, like dirty spray in my hair, texture spray in my hair, and so I don't have to do that today. But normally, I need a teasing comb and some hairspray. So what I will do, is I will take like freshly washed hair and I'll back comb it a little bit to create almost like a little bit of like texture here and then I'll hairspray it on top of that to create that texture. So I'll put the pins in that little section that I've like back combed and sprayed because it gives them something to hang on to and it gives them something to grip onto so they won't just like slide out of your hair. So I just wanted to give you guys that little tip because I know a lot of people haven't gone down the hair accessories trend bandwagon yet because they feel like they're gonna slide right out. Like obviously don't go on a marathon with these in, but just like back comb a little bit like that and then spray and then pop them right in here and it gives them something to grip onto. So just a little tip um, and then I'm going to go into my last bit of jewelry that I bought again from an Instagram ad. When they designed Insta, when they came up with Instagram ads, it's like they saw me coming. Honest to God, they saw me coming. Um, so this one, I started seeing a ton in the last like six months. Wanderlust & Co. I am in love with them, in love with their stuff. This is not my first order from them, but it is my most recent and I'm just, it's so hard to not buy everything. I even like store things in the packaging so I don't want to lose them. So I'm the queen of losing stuff. Now you may have seen some of this stuff in other hauls, other haul videos I've been wearing them. These earrings in particular, you guys ask me about a ton. So all of their stuff is like boho inspired, dreamy, just like crystal-y, like all that stuff. And as you guys, I don't know if you guys can see my crystal collection, I am a crystal collector. So their vibe, their branding speaks like completely to my soul. So the first thing I picked up are these pair of star earrings. They're half star, I'm gonna put them on my shirt. They're like little half stars with like stars along the bottom. They are so beautiful, they're so precious. And again, with this hair vibe that I have going on, I love a good statement earring these days. These are absolutely gorgeous to die for. The next pair of earrings I have, I'm very much into statement earrings now, we're dealing with it, um, are these, mag I think they're magnolias. They are huge white magnolias, but they are stunning. They are so friggin' beautiful. They are, um, all of these are pierced by the way, so you don't have pierced ears, these are not gonna work for you, but come on, this flower looks like it should live in my little tree. Like, get out of here. Get out of town, these are so cute, I love them. They also do them in, um, I think it was lavender and pink and stuff, they're, they're just gorgeous. But these, I just absolutely love to death, I cannot wait for the weather to get better so I can like really live my best life in these. Oh, I love these earrings, they are to die for to die for. The next pair of earrings, my last pair of earrings, I think I wore these in a haul as well. These are, they put the ass in massive. They are huge earrings that they're to die for. They are also flowers. I'm going through clearly some sort of floral situation. Um, and these are really cool because they have the little piece that goes into your ear right here and then this big thing Here's a hold in front of my shirt so you guys can see it. Um, actually goes in the back so it kind of hangs behind your piercing. Um, just freaking gorgeous. They look like they would weigh a ton but they don't actually. Um, and one side has a little bit of goldy like pet, um, seeds and then the other side has a little pearl in it. So really gorgeous. If you were just statement earrings or if you have short hair and you're looking for something fun to wear to show off your little haircut, these guys are just, I keep looking in the viewfinder because they're so pretty is the problem. It's, it's a problem, they're gorgeous. I just love them so, 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 so much. So that is it for earrings. I did pick up a ring. It is teensy tiny and I love it. And I'm gonna come in really close and show you guys. Look at the eye. Aren't we sweet? Isn't that so sweet? And the last item I have and the last item in the haul, I haven't actually worn yet. I like to space things out. When I spend like $200 on Instagram jewelry, I like to like space things out. These are, this is a B toggle bracelet. This is really cute as well. All of their stuff is like, I think it's, it's 14 karat gold gilt or rhodium plated and it's nickel free. So if you have a nickel allergy, Wanderlust is a great brand to wear. They have, it's like a little toggly bit. 
So it has a little bee on it, and what I really like, and if you guys can tell, there's a little like kind of secondary chain that kind of adds a little bit of extra vibe to it, and you just kind of put the toggle in here. Really easy to get on by yourself. I love toggle bracelets, they're so easy to put on. You don't need help with them usually. Just pop it through, Crystal, as you're saying, sitting here saying, oh, you don't need anybody else to help you, and it takes you 10 years to put on a bracelet. Like ridiculous. But there you go, and there it is on, and it is just such a beautiful little piece of jewelry and it layers up so nicely with like a bunch of other bangles and you know pretty toggle bracelets and stuff like that so wanderlust is new to me and has become a huge favorite over the past couple of months um every time their ads show up on instagram i i like i just add to cart like they're just gorgeous everything has lasted really well so far um and it's not super cheap but it's not expensive either um i think the most expensive thing was like 50 dollars or something and everything being 14 karat gold plated um i'm really i'm really really here for it so i'm gonna leave this be on for the rest of the day because because he's cute and yeah okay guys so that is it for me and this collective haul that was largely accessories with a couple of fashion items i hope you enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed putting it together for you and you saw something that you like so excited to kick 2019 off with a little bit of different stuff we're not only going to be doing fashion every day but we are going to be doing fashion accessories we are going to be doing shoes we're going to be doing all kinds of other fun things so so make sure that you smash the subscribe button smash the little bell right next to it so you get notified every time and give the like button a little love give it a little love tab so we that you're enjoying this content so I can keep making more of it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for spending a part of your day with me. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye!